Hi readers, today we get to talk about something special to everyone, and that's planet Earth. You're right, let's spread out the word planet, ready? P -o -n -e -t. Planet, yeah, and all week I picked out some stories that we're gonna read about planet Earth. That's because on Wednesday, it's Earth Day. So we get to celebrate all the things that Earth does for us. The Earth has bodies of water and the Earth has land. And both of those things give to the people who live on it. They also give to the animals that live on it. So today we're gonna read about the great Kapok tree. Now, while we're reading about planet Earth, we always have a reading job. I can, say it with me, I can, very good, discuss the main idea hmm, and key details. You might be looking at this pizza and thinking that's not the main idea and key details, but this is a way we're going to remember it. So the main idea, say main idea, Main idea, very good, put it in your brain, main idea. The main idea tells us the most important part of the story. If you need help finding the main idea, you might look at the title, you might look at the pictures, and you might wonder what words keep repeating. That probably gives you a hint to the main idea. Now, how is a main idea like pizza? Well, pizza always has the dough and sauce. That's the main thing the pizza has. And when you start adding the toppings, it makes the pizza even yummier, doesn't it? But when you add details to a story, it supports the main idea. So the main idea is the dough and the sauce, and the details are like the toppings because we're going to find details throughout the story that help support the main idea. So that's our job today while we learn about planet Earth, the great Kapok tree. The great Kapok tree. And so I'm going to read you something that the author wrote for the reader. In the Amazon rainforest, it is always hot and in the heat that everything grows and grows and grows. The top of the trees in the rainforest are called the canopy. Why don't we all say that together? Canopy. The canopy is a sunny place that touches the sky. The animals that live there like lots of light. Colorful parrots fly from tree to tree and monkeys leap from branch to branch. In this steamy environment, the great Kapok tree shoots up through the forest and emerges above the canopy. So this is the story of a community of animals that lives in one such tree in the rainforest. Two men walked into the rainforest. Moments before, the forest had been alive with the sound of squawking birds and howling monkeys. Now all was quiet as the creatures watched the two men and wondered why they had come. The larger men stopped and pointed to a great kapok tree. Then he left. Look at that beautiful detail illustration. The smaller man took the axe he carried and struck the trunk of the tree. Whack! 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 The sound of the blows rang through the forest. The wood of the tree was very hard. Chop, chop, chop! The man wiped off the sweat that ran down his face and neck. Whack, chop, whack, chop! Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great kapok tree. But he knew it. Before he knew it, the heat and hum of the forest had lulled him to sleep. A boa constrictor lived in the great kapok tree. He slithered down its trunk to where the man was sleeping. He looked at the gash the axe had made in the tree. Then the huge snake slid very close to the man and hissed in his ear. Senor, this tree is a tree of miracles. 
It is my home where generations of my ancestors have lived. Do not chop it down. Wow, more beautiful creatures. A bee buzzed in the sleepy man's ear. Senor, my hive is in this kapok tree and I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower collecting pollen. In this way, I pollinate the trees and flowers throughout the rainforest. You see all living things depend on one another. So the forest needs the beehive to stay safe so the bees can continue to pollinate. A troop of monkeys scampered down from the canopy. Remember, the canopy's on top of the kapok tree. They chattered to the sleeping man. Senor, we have seen the ways of man. You chop down one tree, then come back for another and another. The roots of these great trees will wither and die, and there will be nothing left to hold the earth in place. When the heavy rain comes, the soil will be washed away, and the forest will become desert. That's called deforestation when man, um, like people come in and then they take all the trees and then the animals' homes are gone. And so we use the land of earth for all sorts of things. We use land to crop our food. We use land to raise animals that we eat. And we use trees all the time. But it's really important that we do things to protect earth too because this tree is the animal's habitat. Will you say habitat? Habitat, syllable chin drop. Habitat, very good. Habitat, three syllables. A habitat is the home of a plant or animal. Let's read more about this habitat. A toucan, a macaw, flew down from the canopy. Senor, squeaked the toucan, you must not cut down this tree. We have flown over the rainforest and sees what happens when you cut down the tree. Many people settle on the land. They set fires to clear it and soon the forest disappears. Where once there was life and beauty, only black and smoldering ruins remain. A bright and small tree frog crawled along the edge of a leaf. In a squeaky voice, he piped in the man's ear, Senor, a ruined rainforest means ruined lives, many ruined lives. You will leave many of us homeless if you chop down this great kapok tree. Wow, so the tree is not just the frog's habitat, it's many animals' habitat. A jaguar had been sleeping along a branch in the middle of the tree because his spotted coat blended into the dappled light and shadows of the understory. No one had noticed him. That means he's camouflaged. Say camouflage. Camouflage, yeah. So sometimes animals use their external parts like their skin to protect themselves. So he was camouflaged in and no one noticed him. Now he leapt down and padded silently over to the sleeping man. He growled in the ear, Senor, the kapok tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? Because the jaguar is a predator, which means he eats those other animals that we've learned about. Four tree porcupines swung down from branch to branch and whispered to the man, Senor, do not, do you know what we animals and humans need in order to live? Oxygen. Say oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen is air. Take in a gulp of oxygen. And Senor, do you know what trees produce? Oxygen. If you cut down the forest, you will de destroy that which gives us all life. Wow. I didn't realize that trees produce oxygen. They help keep our air clean. Several anteaters climbed down the kapok tree with their young cleaning, clinging to their backs. The unstriped anteater said to the sleeping man, Senor, you are chopping down this tree with no thought for the future. And surely you know that what happens tomorrow depends on what you do today. The big man tells you to chop down a beautiful tree. He does not think of his own children who tomorrow must live in a world without trees. Oh, so the anteaters are talking about doing things to protect the planet today to help the next generation who needs the planet to survive. 
A three-toed sloth had begun climbing down from the canopy when the men first appeared. Only now did she reach the ground, plodding ever so slowly over to the sleeping man. She spoke in her deep and lazy voice. Senor, how much is beauty worth? Can you live without it? If you destroy the beauty of the rainforest, on what would you feast your eyes? Now we see another human. So I want to stop before I read the end of this story. And I remember we have a reading job today. And I want to discuss the main idea and some key details we've already learned about. Hmm. Touch your brain. What do you think the main idea is? It's the big picture. Well, we can look at the title. The title says the great Kapok tree. And I know that on every page, it talked about animals in the rainforest needing the great Kapok tree. Oh yeah, those were repetitive words. So that tells me the main idea is the great Kapok tree and the animals who live there. Now, that's not what this story is only about. It's what it's mostly about. Every page talked about the great Kapok tree. And then the author and illustrator added details to help support the main idea. So if we go back through, an important detail from the very beginning I found on this page. It talked about how the bees need the great Kapok tree to live in their habitat and how bees help other animals in the rainforest because they pollinate the flowers for them. So that detail supported the main idea of the great Kapok tree because I learned that we need to keep trees around for animals' habitats because they help other animals. Yeah, this is another great detail that I learned to support the main idea. When the anteaters taught us that um, oxygen, or, oh, this is another great detail that supported the main idea. When the porcupines taught us that oxygen is created through trees, that's something that supports how important the great Kapok tree is. So when we read about this little boy, let's think of another detail that supported the main idea. A child from the Yanomamo tr tribe who lived in the rainforest knelt over the sleeping man. He murmured in his ear, Senor, when you awake, please look upon us all with new eyes. The man awoke from a startle. Before him stood the rainforest child, and all around him staring were the creatures who depend upon the great Kapok tree. What wondrous and rare animals they were. Their beautiful habitat, their home. The man looked about and saw the sun streaming through the canopy. Spots of bright light glowed like jewels amidst the dark green forest. Strange and beautiful plants seemed to dangle in the air. Suspended from the great Kapok tree, the man smelled the fragrant perfume of their flowers. He felt the steamy mist rising from the forest floor, but he heard no sound, for the creatures were strangely The man stood and picked up his axe. Hmm. Do you think the animals persuaded him to not cut it down? Or do you predict that the man's still going to cut down the tree? Think in your brain. Let's read to find out. He swung back his arm as though to strike the tree. But suddenly he stopped. He turned and looked at the animals and the child. He hesitated. And he dropped the axe and walked out of the rainforest. So the author wrote you guys a special note that I'm going to read to you. Dear readers, I wrote the great Kapok tree to let the world know what happens to the rainforest creatures and to the entire planet when rainforests are destroyed. 
I hope that after reading this book, you will help save the rainforest. The Great Cape Hawk Tree is a book is about the Amazon rainforest, a tropical rainforest, but we have a temperate rainforest in the Pacific Northwest of the United States that we must protect too. So there's even rainforest in our country. Please care for Mother Earth. Together we can make a difference. And so the author is asking us to protect the earth. And say the word protect, protect. Protect means to keep safe from harm. And so when we decided not to deforest the Amazon rainforest with the great Kapok tree, we protected. We protected the air, the forest, and the animals. Wow. I learned through main idea and the key details how much the planet Earth gives to people who live on it. Let's keep celebrating Earth tomorrow. Bye.